beautiful on the south though, right? Really, wow. Imagine this now. How beautiful this is. I'm going to do a 360. Can you believe it? Wow. Look at that. All the way around, we're right in the middle here, just like a donut. This is called the Badlands of Alberta. And this is where we're pipelining right now. Beautiful. This is sometimes called the Dinosaur Valley. This valley held more dinosaurs probably than almost anywhere in the world at one time. It's a Red Deer Valley, just a second. Pipeline through the Red Deer Valley. The guys are all going back to work after lunch. Let's just have to travel on. School bus, the guys all had the lunch on, some of the guys did. There's uh, three school buses on this small group. There's two crews. One has got four of these welding shacks. That's called the poor boy. The other crew has got six swelling shacks, that's called the main game. We do all the tougher sections, I guess, the poor boys. Beautiful, beautiful country to work in. Wow, it's just awesome. That's where we've been. That's where we're coming from. The crew is getting ready to move up. Now they lift that Walden shack up, off the pipe. It's called a cyclone that's doing that. And they'll move on to the next well. There's the other shacks, they're hanging, they're waiting for the... There's an internal welder that's doing the... This welding them front pipe together from inside. And then these external welders will, will set and finish the weld. It's like a moving assembly line, that's what it is, a moving assembly line. Now these guys just did that weld right there. And they'll lower that shack. I guess that one's done. Oh. You had to move over a little bit. Because he was too close. To the pipe. With the tractor. Now this guy right here, what he does with the grinders, once they're finished welding, he takes off any spatter from the weld off the pipe with the grinders. There's a helper going in and a welder, one on each side. They'll each do half of that weld from 
top to bottom. This is a supply truck. Any supplies that the welders or the helpers may need. Okay, you're looking at the automatic welding bug right there. Two, two torches. This is a, 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 a helper. This is the electronics computer. that keeps these uh, welding leads cool. Okay, there's one torch welding. The other one will fire up automatically. That's the helper on the other side. He's going to do some grinding problems. That's his tool of choice, so the grinder. This guy is doing what's called a cap. It's a finishing pass, a third pass on a weld. going to climb that hill right there and that right down there is the Red Deer River that has curved out the badlands that you're looking at and there they go up that hill it looks small but it's it's a very steep hill. Okay, now what's happening there up front is those two tractors are going to pull the inside welder out. It should be coming out of the pipe there at any minute. And the two of them will pull that up to the next, over the hill, will be our next weld. Because that's too steep to weld right there. So we'll stop there, and we'll weld up on top of the hill, and then we'll pull that back. How are you doing, brother? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm all right. Life is good? Good enough. Good enough to break that. Yeah. Okay, what you're looking at right there is called a goose. It welds the inside, the first pass of the pipe. It's called the bead or the root. That second shack, number seven, there will roll the first external pass that's called a hot pass. Shack eight over there will roll fill one, fill two. Shack nine will roll fill three, fill four. Shack ten will roll uh, the final pass or the cap, as I showed you before. Okay, there's shack seven is left and off. He'll go over the hill and he'll start welding up there. Or you can see the end of that pipe. Hmm, I don't know what.
what he's doing. He, oh, he's... Hmm. I guess he has to turn around. Yeah, he has to turn around and carry the shack on the other side so that the tractor doesn't tip over as he's going up the hill. Saving this video, it doesn't look steep that hill, but it is. welding in there. You can see that from a great distance from the, the light that's coming from the arc of the weld. operation this pipeline then the workers they'll get on these buses one's already over the hill and they'll wait to go up the hill and we'll start up there Valley. Pipeline through the Red Deer Valley. 